the gooey factory I will meet my friends you see Making our crafts and singing our songs Learning to love Jesus all day long Gooey 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 making truth stick Gooey 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 making truth stick I'm a gooey kid and I'm happy can you see Join me at the gooey factory Oh that was fun Let's do it. Hi guys it's me it's Pastor Dina Look at all of this stuff. I'm so excited to be at my gooey house and to be with you, our gooey kids and our discovery kids, cause it's time for church. Oh, I'm so excited. I got my Bible. Do you have yours? Good, because we take God's word, it's the truth. And where do we stick it? Huh? No, not the ear. We don't stay into our ears, but we do have listening ears. Where? Our forehead? Hmm. I don't think so. Yes, you're right. We take God's word, God's truth, and we stick it to our hearts. Great job, guys. Okay, today we're talking about God's amazing creation. Do you remember how many days it took for God to create our world? Do you remember? Tell me. Yes, seven, seven days. Here, count with me, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job, guys. Today we're talking about day two, day three, day five, and part of day six. Can you guess what we're gonna be talking about? Look below me. Yes, that's right, right. We're, we're gonna talk about the, the, the sky and how God made that. And, and look, I got some seashells because God made the land and the beaches and the water. And, and what lives in the water? Fishes and all kinds of sea creatures. And what flies in the air? Yes, birds, birds. And what lives on the land? You got it, all kinds of animals. I just have a whole bunch right here, I'm so excited. Okay, listen, grab your family, let's get together and have some church, right? And today we're gonna join our friends at Saddleback and we're gonna learn about God's love for us and his amazing creation. Come on, let's go. Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm Millie. And we are so excited that you joined us today because we are talking about God's amazing creation. Ooh, that does sound exciting. Amy, what did God make? God made so many amazing things and we're gonna learn about those things together. Let's start by singing a song. Oh, I love songs. Me too. So let's all stand up. And let's sing a super amazing song.
so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. He made the trees, He made the seas, He made the elephants too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the valleys are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. creation song we're going to start by counting from one to seven and moving our arms like this you ready let's go one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven on day number one god made light he made the day and he made the night on day number two god made the sky it's big and blue and way up high Ooh. you say whoa whoa day number three on day number three, God made the sea. He made the land, every plant and tree. On day number four, God made the stars. He put the sun in the sky, super duper far. Whoa. Sing out those woes. Whoa. Sing God made you. On day number five, God made birds and fish, dolphins and whales and things that go squish. On day number six, God made animals and bugs, foxes and cubs, all for us to hug. Whoa. You hear those woes? Whoa. Sing day number six. On day number six, God also made man. He said it was good and part of his plan. On day number seven, God stopped. To rest, he saw what he made, it was his best woe. Sing out those woes. Let me hear you sing, God made you. Wow, that was great that we got to worship God together. You can all sit down now. Yeah, that was so fun. Now I am really excited to learn about the amazing things God has made. Oh, well, you're in luck because it's time for us to watch our Bible story about all the things that God made. Woohoo! Let me get my listening ears. And? And my thinking cap. Great. Kids, put on your listening ears and your thinking cap too, and let's watch our Bible story. Yeah. Stories of the Bible. Creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was empty, formless, and dark. But the Spirit of God was there. On the first day, God said, Let there be light. 
and God saw that the light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. On the second day, God said, let there be a space to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. God called the space sky. On the third day, God said, let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place so dry ground may appear. God called the dry ground land and the waters seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the land sprout with every sort of plant and tree. And God saw that it was good. On the fourth day, God said, let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. God made two great lights, the sun for the day and the moon for the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth and God saw that it was good. On the fifth day, God said, let the water swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind. And God saw that it was good. On the sixth day, God said, let the earth make every sort of animal. God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock and small animals, each able to have babies of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image to be like us. So God created man in his own image. He formed man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into man and a man became alive. Then he saw that the man needed a helper, so God put man into a deep sleep, and while he slept, God took one of the man's ribs, then God made a woman from the rib and brought her to the man. Hello. Hi. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and rule over it. Rule over the fish in the sea. Hello, Hello. The birds in the sky. Hello, bird and all the animals that scurry along the ground. <laughs> then God said, Look, I have given you every plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food, and I have given you every green plant as food for all the animals. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was done. So on the seventh day, God rested from all his work, and God blessed the seventh day and said it was holy. Wow, wow, wow! So you're telling me that God made everything in the whole entire earth? Yep. He made all my favorite things? Yeah, he did. He made you and me? Yes, he did, and isn't God amazing? Yes, God is amazing. And after God made all those things, he said they were very good. How do you know that? Because our Bible verse tells us that. Our Bible verse is Genesis 1:31. What does it say? God looked over all that he had made and he saw that it was very good. Oh, well, I think God is right. I like all the things he made. <laughs> you know, I wanna go outside and see all of God's creation right now. I got an idea. We should go to Scup and Scout Camp. Oh, I've always wanted to go to camp. Well, let's go together and we can learn about the amazing things that God made from our other Skepit friends and Pastor Steve. Oh yes, let's do that. So everyone put on your Skepit Scout thinking cap. Got it. And your Skepit Scout listening ears. Got them. And let's go to Skepit Scout camp. Yippee! <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Pastor Steve. And I am Hector. Hey, Scuppet Scouts, let's do our Scuppet Scout salute. You ready? Ready. Clap twice and then howl like a wolf. Here we go. Ow! Ow. Nicely done. Hey, Scuppet Scouts, I'm actually here with Scuppet Scout Master Hector. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. 
Hey, this guy has more Scuppet Scout patches than any other Scuppet. And I'm actually here today to receive a patch from him. Oh yeah? Uh, which one are you trying to get? I'm trying to get the Earth Pals patch. Well, to get that one, you gotta know some things about animals. Oh, I love animals. Hey, did you know that on day five, God created the sea creatures and the birds in the sky? Yep. And on day six, God created us, and he created all the land animals that we see and we love. I mean, he created the small animals like the rabbits and the mice. He created the great big animals like the elephants and the giraffes. And he made the really strong animals like the bears and the lions. And he even made every animal in between, like cats and dogs. Well, there are a lot of animals and fish and birds out there, but do you remember what God made on day two? Oh, I do. On day two, God made the sky. And on day three, God made the land, the trees and the plants. Yep, and that's important because the fish live in the ocean, birds fly in the sky, and the animals live on the land and eat from it. Do you know what animals like to eat, Pastor Steve? Well, different animals like to eat different things. Like some animals like to eat plants and some animals like to eat meat. Well, you gotta know what they like to eat if you wanna get your Earth Pals patch. Why? Because to get your patch, you gotta know how to take care of the animals. Okay, well, what else do I need to know? You gotta know that God wants us to take care of the animals and all the earth. We need to be nice to the animals and treat them well. Wow, Hector, I did not know that you loved God's creation so much. <laughs> well, I mean, don't tell anyone. Now, um, you want your patch or what? Oh, I sure do. Okay, make a dolphin noise. Why? That's what you gotta do to get your patch. Oh, okay, I'll try. Oh, oh, okay, 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 that's a, uh, you know what, that's pretty good, but uh, maybe work on that a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's try uh, Dance Like a Tree. What? You gotta do it. Okay, I'm dancing like a tree. Oh, got some arms going, oh, okay, okay. Uh, that's that's that okay? pretty good, pretty good, yeah, okay. yeah, we'll call that okay. good. Okay, check. Now, uh, walk around like a chicken. Really? It's all in the Scubbit Scout patch rules. Okay. Okay, okay. You know what, that was actually uh, pretty good. You're good at that. So, um, here's your patch. Yes, yes. I now have my Earth Pals patch. Now, every time I look at this patch, I'm going to remember that God made all the earth, all the animals in the earth, and he wants me to take care of it. And when you see those animals, you know, be nice to them and take care of them, okay? We can do that. And uh, be nice to the trees and flowers, too. You know, don't stomp all over them and stuff like that. Got it. Now, to you Scuppet Scouts out there, remember that God made you and he loves you very much. And, um, well, I guess we do too, right? <laughs> yes, we do. We love you guys. And we'll see you next time. Ready? Ow! Wow, I love Scuppet Scout Camp. Do you think I could get a Scuppet Scout patch like they did? I think we all can, but it's going to be a challenge. Really? Yeah, but we can do it together. How? Well, we are going to meet up with Zara and she's going to see what we learned at Scuppet Scout Camp. Ooh. If we pass the test, we can get a Scuppet Scout patch of our own. Oh, great, I'm ready. Then let's all go to the river because it's time for Zara's Canoe Challenge. Hi, I'm Scuppet Scout Zara. <laughs> let's do our Scuppet Scout salute. ow Hey, are you ready for Zara's Canoe Challenge? Well then hop in my canoe and let's go. Today, we're trying to earn our Earth Pals patch. But, we have to answer a few questions to get it. I'll ask you a question, and you're going to paddle to go left if you think the answer is over there, and paddle to go right if you think the answer is over there. Let's try a practice question first. What sound does a chicken make? 
Paddle right if you think they go Paddle left if you think they go Good job, Stuffed Scouts! Chickens say Now let's go further down the river for our questions about God's amazing creation. Our first question is, what did God make that flies in the sky? Paddle right, if you think God made chocolate chip cookies fly in the sky. Paddle left, if you think God made birds fly in the sky. Whoa! <laughs> nice paddling, scuppet scouts! God made birds fly in the sky. Oh, look! There's one now! Hi, bird! We've made it to our next question. When God made the fish, where did he put them? Paddle right if you think he put them in the water. Paddle left if you think he put them in a big pool of fruit punch. Nice paddling, Scuppet Scouts. When God made the fish, he put them in the sea and in the rivers, like the one we're on now. We made it to our last question. Get this one right, and you'll get your Earth Pals patch. Are you ready? Okay. What does God want us to do with his creation? Paddle right if you think he wants us to take care of it. Paddle left if you think he wants us to stomp on it and be mean to it. That's right. <laughs> God wants us to take care of all of his creation. You did it, Scuppet Scouts! You've now officially earned your Scuppet Scout Earth Pals patch. Congratulations, Scuppet Scouts! Thanks for joining me for Zara's Canoe Challenge! <laughs> Ow! Nice job, everyone. I'm so glad that you learned so much about the amazing things that God made. Now remember, God made everything in the whole world. Yeah, he made the animals, the stars, the sky, the sea, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Yes, he did. And he also made you, and he loves you so very much. So remember that you are God's amazing creation, and he loves you. Oh, oh, and we love you too. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. There's a bird, and a dolphin, and an octopus, and a bunny, and a lion, and a turtle. Oh my goodness. God's creation is amazing. Right, guys? Come on, I want you to lift your hands and say, thank you, Father, for giving us this creation. I will take care of it. Amen. Amen. I know, I, I I normally have her put her hands on our heart, but this time I had us lift it up because we're so excited. Okay, let's touch our neighbor. Touch your neighbor, because we're praying and thanking God for all he's done for us, right? Touch your neighbor. Say, Father God, help my neighbor. Know that you are amazing and that they will take care of your creation. Amen. Amen. Okay, now tippy toe high, tippy toe high, tippy toe high, and say, Father God, I love you. Thank you for your amazing creation. Thank you for loving us and for making these beautiful creatures. I love, I love, I love. Which one is your favorite? Huh? Do you like the squirrel? Or Oh, wait, I forgot to say amen. We're still praying. Sorry, sorry, Lord. Amen. <laughs> I love reading God's word. I hope you do too. You know, you get your mom and dad to read it because the creation story is all in the Bible. It's in the, the book of Genesis, chapter one. Have them read it to you, okay? Okay, so, so yeah, which one's your favorite, huh? Oh, I love them, I love them all. I thought maybe, look at this, it's a birdhouse. Maybe you and your mom and dad could do something special to, to recognize God's amazing creation. Maybe you make a birdhouse or paint it or, or do some Play-Doh. Yeah, yeah, get some Play-Doh and make the different
different animals and the different fishes and the everything. Trees, do the whole thing. And then send me a picture. Yeah, I wanna see it. Okay guys, this has been great, talking about God's amazing creation and how much he loves us. I love you, I'll see you next time, bye. Up at the gooey factory, I will meet my friends, you see. Making our crafts and singing our songs, learning to love Jesus all day long. Gooey, 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 make your truth stick. Gooey, 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 make your truth stick. I'm a gooey kid and I'm happy, can you see? Join me at the gooey factory.